Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on Big Data on the Cloud. Do you know friends that Big Data and Cloud Computing are two mainstream technologies that have a very big impact in the IT industry. Every day a massive amount of data is generated from various sources. This data is so large that traditional processing tools cannot handle it. Big Data and Cloud Computing are trending technologies in today's scenario and job opportunities are flourishing for these technologies. By acquiring proper certifications and training, you can become big data engineer, data scientist, or cloud solution architect with salary ranging over more than 20 lakhs per annum. Now, before we discuss our today's agenda, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So first, we are gonna discuss about what is big data. Then, we are gonna learn about three V's of big data. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss about the history of big data. Then we are going to discuss the real world example and at the end we are going to mention the big data challenges. So let's start with what is big data. Suppose we have an example of this Tesla Model 3 car. It has all these functionalities like an electric vehicle. It has wide side mirror power, front LED ambient light BSD system, head up display. And all these features are enabled with the help of sensors. And you can imagine the data created by this particular car is around 20 terabytes of data per day. And there are 1 millions of cars in the production. So you can imagine how much amount of data is just generated by these Tesla Model 3 cars. Now let me define basically what is big data. Big data refers to larger, more complex data sets, particularly from new data sources. Traditional data processing software simply cannot handle these massive data sets. However, these massive amount of data can be used to address business problems that were previously unsolvable. Now let's discuss the three V's of big data. The first one we have is volume. The amount of data is kind of important. With big data, you must process large amounts of low density unstructured data. This can include unvalued data set such as Twitter data feeds, click streams on a web page or mobile app or sensor enabled equipment. This could amount to tens of terabytes of data for some organizations and others may require hundreds of petabyte. This definitely refers to the volume of data. Now let me tell you about the velocity of data. The rate at which data is received and possibly acted on is defined as velocity. Normally, the fastest data streams into the memory rather than being written into the disk. Some internet connected smart products operate in real or near real time, necessitating the real time evaluation and action. So this basically refers to as velocity. Now let me talk about variety. The various types of data available are referred to as variety. Traditional data types are well structured and easily fit into the relational database. With rise of big data, new unstructured data types have emerged, such as text, audio and video are examples of unstructured and semi-structured data types that require additional pre-processing to derive meaning and support the metadata. Now let's discuss the history of big data. Although the concept of big data itself is relatively new, the origins of large data sets go back to the 60s and the 70s, when the world of data was just getting started with the first data centers and the development of relational database. Around 2005, people began to realize just how much data users generated through Facebook, YouTube and other online services. Hadoop, an open source framework created specifically to store and analyze big data sets, was developed the same year. NoSQL also began to gain popularity during this time. The development of open source frameworks like Hadoop and more recently Spark was critical for the growth of big data because they make big data easier to work with and are kind of less expensive to store. The volume of big data has exploded in these years. Users are still generating massive amounts of data, but still it's just not humans. The Internet of Things has connected more objects and devices to the Internet, collecting data on customer usage patterns and product performance. 
the rise of machine learning has resulted in even more data. The development of open source frameworks like Hadoop and Spark has helped a lot to manage the big data. Now let's study about the real world examples. Big data can help you with a variety of business activities including customer experience and analytics. So here are few of the examples such as the product creation. Big data is used by companies such as Netflix and Procter and Gamble to predict the customer demand. They create predictive models for new products and services by categorizing key characteristics of previous and current products. Or basically you can talk about the services and modeling the relationship between those characteristics thus the commercial success of the offering. Furthermore, the PNG plans produces and launches new products using data and analytics from focus groups, social media, test markets and early store rollouts. The next example we talk about is predictive maintenance. Maintenance that is predicted factors that can predict mechanical failures can be found in both structured data such as the year of make, the model of equipment and the unstructured data which includes millions of log entries, sensor data, error messages and engine temperature. Organization can deploy maintenance more cost effectively and maximize part and equipment by uptiming and analyzing these indicators of potential issues before they occur. The next example is the customer experience. The battle of customers has begun. A clearer picture of the customer experience is now more possible than ever before. Big data allows you to collect information from social media, web visits and call logs and other sources in order to improve interaction experiences and maximize value delivered. Begin delivering personalized offers to reduce customer churn and deal with the issues are ahead of time. Now the next example we are going to discuss is compliance and fraud. When it comes to security, you are up against the entire expert team, not just few rogue hackers. The security landscape and compliance requirements are always changing. Big data can assist you in identifying patterns in data that indicate the security threats. Next example, if we talk about it is the machine learning. Machine learning is currently a hot topic and one of the reasons for this is data, specifically the big data. We can now teach machines instead of programming them. That is made possible by availability of big data for training machine learning models. And this is where the machine learning is greatly benefiting from the data. The more data a system collects, the better it learns to function for the businesses. As a result, using machine learning for big data analytics is a logical step for businesses to maximize the potential of big data adoption. For example, I tell you, Say we have investigating a customer behavior. After drawing a picture of your target audience, machine learning does not stop. It also enables businesses to investigate audience behavior and to build solid customer framework. This machine learning system is also known as user modeling and is a direct result of humor computer interaction. It mines data to capture the user's mind and enable businesses and enterprises to make the informed decisions. Facebook, Twitter, Google and others rely on the user modeling systems to understand their users and make relevant recommendations. Now we are going to talk about the big data challenges. The real implementation barriers in big data are these challenges. These require immediate attention and must be handled because if they are not handled, the technology may fail, resulting in an unpleasant outcome. Big data challenges include storing, analyzing extremely large and rapidly growing data sets. The first such challenge is sharing and accessing data. The inaccessibility of data sets from the external sources is perhaps the most common challenge in big data efforts. Data sharing can present significant challenges. It entails the requirement for inter and intra-institutional legal documents. Accessing data from public repositories presents a number of challenges. It is necessary for data to be available in an accurate, complete and timely manner. If data in the company in the information system is used to take the accurate decision in a timely manner. The next major challenge is privacy and security. 
This challenge has sensitive, conceptual, technical and legal implications. Due to large amount of data generation, most organizations are unable to maintain regular checks. However, because it is most beneficial, security checks and observation should be performed in real time. There is some information about a person that when combined with external large data sets may lead to some facts about that person that are secretive and he may not want the owner to know this information. Some organizations collect people's information in order to add value to their businesses. The next major challenge is the analytical challenge. There are some major analytical challenges in the big data, such as how to deal with a problem. If the data volume becomes too large or how do you identify the critical data points or even how to make the best use of data. The large amount of data that will be analyzed can be structured, semi-structured or unstructured. Decision making can be accomplished using the two of the method. Either incorporate the massive amount of data into the analysis and alternatively decide ahead of time which big data is relevant. The next is the data quality. There is a cost associated with the data collection and storage of large amount of data. Large data storage is always desired by companies, the business owners and the IT leaders. Rather than having irrelevant data, focus on the quality of data storage for better results and conclusion. This raises the question of how to ensure that the data is relevant and how much data is needed for decision making and whether or not the stored data is accurate. The next challenge is the fault tolerance. If I talk about the fault tolerance, it is another technical challenge. And fault tolerance computing is extremely difficult, requiring intricate algorithms. Nowadays, some new technologies such as cloud computing and big data always intended that whenever a failure occurred, the damage done should be within an acceptable threshold, implying that the entire task should not be restarted. The next major challenge is the scalability. Big data projects have potential to grow and evolve quickly. The scalability issue of big data has led to the adoption of cloud computing. It raises a number of issues such as how to run and execute various jobs in order to achieve the cost-effective goal of each workload. It is also necessary to deal with the system's failure in an efficient manner. This raises the issue of what kind of storage devices should be used. And the final major challenge is confusion when choosing the big data tool. Companies are frequently perplexed when deciding on the simplest tool for the giants. Analysis and storage of data is Edgebase or Cassandra, the most basic data storage technology. Is Hadoop MapReduce sufficient or will Spark be a far superior choice for data analytics and storage? These are the questions that bother businesses and they were sometimes unable to find answers. They end up making bad decisions and using inappropriate technology. As a result, money, time, effort and working hours are all squandered. The one solution you can do is, you will either hire experienced professionals who are far more knowledgeable about these tools and another option is to travel for large data consulting. Here the consultants will recommend the simplest tool to support your company's scenario. That was all for today's session. I hope so, you would have got idea on what is big data on the cloud. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in Big Data, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in Big Data Analytics by ENICT Council IIT Guwahati. It is taught by IIT professors and industry experts. With more than 10 years of experience, this course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.